Jump, do that, hit ye old button, and we're good to go. So again, next up, 31, 7, and 2. Silas Judah. Who is probably going to kill me. Again, I don't know how I feel about bumping it up to uh to goat difficulty. Let alone going with this custom slider set that apparently makes it more realistic, but we will try it for a little bit. So do not be surprised if my uh if my record goes from uh from ten and one to not as good. <laughs> There's a very good chance of that. Z Pops, what's up, man? Uh so in the weight class, light heavyweight. Archibald Beck, not to be confused with the Chikara great Archibald Peck, is number one. Uh, Roy Jones Jr. is up there. B-Hop's up there. We are currently in the 30s. We're currently ranked 30th. And Judah's 28th. So perhaps there is a fight on the horizon against the Ulysses S. Turpin. You never know. Or Gary Gray, whose name I originally misread as Gary Gary. And Noble Hansen. Or Balthazar Meyer. Because why the hell not? Did the name... The names in this game or something else. So, I mean, th those are guys that we could uh, have a chance of going up against soon. Tried to look into tickets for the Sedin's Banner Night. 315 for one ticket. That sounds about right. That sounds about right, though, doesn't it? That's not surprising at all. Oh, God. Let's do, uh, let's do the old heavy bag push here. Again, I am uh, I am frightened of this harder difficulty. It might not be. It, hey, we got an achievement. Uh, it might not be. It might not be the best way to uh, to go about this, especially first fight of the night. But you know, yesterday, I mean, we went four and zero, five and zero, got a couple of knockouts. So I think we're due for the difficulty increase. But uh, yeah. I think it's just, I don't know, looking at the slider set and calling it more realistic, that kind of scares me. But, uh, odds are it'll just result in me having to fight like, uh, like we did last night, where we just try to let guys punch themselves out, but even then, I don't know if it'll work. Oh, God, Bozak, what's up as well, buddy? It's happening. Swing away, Don. Worst comes to worst, I just start, you know, low, bow, uh, low blowing people, headbutting people. Maybe even bite somebody. Why not? On those combos. What's the worst that could happen in, in terms of biting someone? No one's gonna move that bag for you. This was not a very good run. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. Not good either. Oh no, this game. What do you mean, oh no, this game? Ah, just under champion. That's okay. It's a good bit of XP. Let's see. We got... Yeah, we still got time. Email. Promo event for rival. Let's do it. Let's do it. Panthenaren. Confirmed. Oh shit, how do I want to do this? Let's do athletic training. And we'll bump up the old conditioning. Are you happy with the Hockey Hall of Fame inductees? To be honest, I, I didn't even see who was going in. Did not even see who's going in. But hearing that McGillney, Ronick, and Kachuk didn't make it in. I mean, it... I guess I'd consider it a snub. But, it, you know, again, it's one of those things where it's, you know, the argument of Hall of Very Good versus Hall of Fame. But... I mean, there's certainly the argument for, again, McGillney, Ronick, and Kachuk to be in. So that's a weird one. Tuki hates the conductee. The conductees. I don't hate the inductees. I just don't know who made it in. Wickenheiser made it here. Let me freaking check. I somehow did not see at all today who is apparently in the Hockey Hall of Fame. I'm going to get fucking destroyed in this fight, aren't I? 
Hockey on the phone. I'm not seeing like anything on our hockey about it. Aside from Wickenheiser. All right, there we go. Wickenheiser, Zuboff, E. Carbono, Bathaf, and Nidomansky, Jerry York, and Jim Rutherford. I can't really disagree with any of the any of the ones that went into the hall. I mean, as far as who didn't make it, though. I don't know. It's it's a weird debate. It's a weird debate because again, it's just it's that's the way Hall of Fames work. Oh, you have this person in, but not this person. Yeah, that's just how it goes, man. I mean, obviously you can sit there and say, "Hey, what about this player?" Yeah, probably. But he's Don Cherry, a Hall of Famer in my heart. Oh God! All right. Okay, so this is the broadcast camera, huh? I don't know if I like it. I think that's a little bit too different at the very least. No, I didn't want instant replay. Stop. Settings. Visual, high, wide, close, dynamic. Champion mode. What the hell's the difference between champion mode and dynamic? What's champion mode look like? I don't like it either. Going back to going back to dynamic. There we go. It's better. Will we be able to outbox Mr. Judah on a higher difficulty with a slider set that apparently makes the game more realistic? When a right-handed fighter faces a southpaw, all I know is that I'm kind of fearing because I I don't know what to expect out of the AI here. How aggressive they're going to be? Like, is it just going to take one haymaker to put Don on his ass? Because now the orthodox fighter doesn't feel comfortable using his jab. It doesn't land. It doesn't have the clearance that it usually has, and therefore he doesn't use it, and he hurts himself. Well targeted two punch combo by Work Dynamite. The Work the body. Halfway That's through round number one. Well, what do you got for us, Judah? So he still seems to be missing a lot of a lot of punches if I can just get out of range. So that, that strategy might work. I just don't know what to expect out of the, the power game for this guy. Dynamite's left landing well. Little head knocking with that right hand. That straight hurt quite a bit. Shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent Joe was a slow starter. He's jumping right up. Come on, Don, find a way. Oh boy, yep. Okay, that's that's my worst fear. That was my worst fear. He hit one clean punch and he hurt me. All right. That fear has now been realized. He definitely won that first round. How did we lose? Uh, controversial stoppage. Controversial stoppage in our very first fight. He didn't know what had happened. I realized then he was fighting on instinct the rest of the night. Amazing story. Judah's feeling the impact of that hook to the body. That was not well targeted by Dynamite. Oh, big right hand from Don. Hurt him, though. Come on, Donnie boy. He's going to survive that. All right. We have power of our own. We're in this. All it took was one clean hook from Don. All right, we're back in it. We definitely lost that first round, but I got some confidence back. Halfway through round number two, takes a step back, then the counter punch by Judah. Very similar to what you see Floyd. We're not. Uh, I mean, we're in the deep waters, but we're not out of our depth. At least I don't think we are. Dynamite's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Big left from Don, hurt him again. And he drops him with a left. I don't think we're at I don't think we're out of our depth here. 
I think we're looking okay. I just realized this was still on fucking mono auto, but that's okay. Look at Don dropping him. All right. Is he done? Oof. He nearly stumbled back down. All right. You know, the slider set. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. That was a, that was a clean right. Woo! It's my first fight on these sliders, and uh, I just got fucking dropped. Quick right and a quick uppercut. We're back up, though. No controversial stop at just time, fucker. We're still good. So, I mean, I've heard him twice and dropped him once. He dropped me once. That should still be a win for that round, but that was... Whew, that was a lot more close than I would have preferred. See, still stamina wise, pretty even. And round number three is underway. That's okay, Good that's job okay, on the two punch combo go. by Dynamite. Easy, Donnie boy. Good looking counter punch. Got hit with another overhand. Not good. Not good. Not good. Keep backing up, Don. Come on. Give me my health back. Thank you. And he hits a clean shot, man. It hurts. Off to the side. A little swing and a miss going upstairs. Watch the headshot. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Ah, oh, come on. He slipped another right and hit me with another uppercut, man. I don't know about this. Uh, I don't know about the slider set, at least for how good Don is right now. I just don't have the chin rating to put up with it. You're looking good, but he's hit me with like, he's rocked me with the last three clean shots he's hit. But it's also about taking chances. Right now, he's afraid of taking chances. Wow, what a right hand. <sighs> yeah, he's rocking me with it. Any clean shot he hits, he's rocking me. So, I don't know. We might have to back out of the slider set. Or maybe I can overcome adversity here. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble here on the scorecards. See, he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Yikes. This is an awkwardly shaped arena. To be honest, I haven't even looked. Alright, we're down, down by a round. Judah's up two rounds to one. But keep in mind, they've already traded knockdowns. I see what you mean, though. It is. Big uppercut from Don. There we go. Atta boy, Don. We're not out of it. Whew. Oh, that, that's worthy of our first. There we go. That's better. Blobberface, what's up, man? Is that enough? We drop him for the second time. He's back up again. All right. Hey, I'm, I'm feeling all right. I just have to, I have to be defensive, but I know that I have the power to drop him. I know that I have the power to drop him. Fire him right back with one of his own. Good work by Judah. Judah's got that catch me if you can kind of add Back him up into the corner here. Born of the ropes in general, that works. Getting the range for the uppercut, though. He's doing a real magical job in there, but his opponent is making no adjustments at all. There you go. Get off of me, nerd. As he just ties up. Judah's impressive. Woo! Give him a clean hook. He didn't go down, though. Good flush shot by Judah. Dynamite! Just bang to the body! Good shot to the head with that right hand. 
He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to. Nope. Oh, oh, that could have been bad. Dynamite showing you that sublime skill right now with that two punch combo. Judah scoring with that right hand. Getting roughed up a little bit. With the straight at the end, though. All right, we're working it. We're working it. Can't wait for another boxing game. Dunlop, I feel the same way. But it's that's the big issue. Is essentially, it's not as easy as like, oh, well, we have the rights for the NHL game, so we have the rights to pretty much all the players. Like, it's it's just not that simple. It's not like the UFC where it's like, oh, okay, if a fighter's within within the UFC, we're good. It doesn't it doesn't work the same way with the way boxing is organized. That's the big issue. In the last round. Now, Teddy, when you're the opponent and you knock the guy down, those openings you moments. Big left from Don. Woo! Hits him with a couple of rights. Whammo! Damn. Is that enough? We drop him for the third time. Is that enough? Slider said and all, but it is on goat. Hey, he's done. He's done. Stay down. He's up at nine. Get him up against the ropes or into the corner here. He used to say, Teddy, when you got two tough guys, but one's a little smarter, well, then he becomes twice as tough. Cut him off, back him down. He returns fire with a left hand. Off that left hit. We were golden. Grabbing on to his opponent. Seconds to go here in this round. Keep your head moving. Keep your head moving. Oh, you got this one, baby. You got this one. Oh, Get off of me. Nobody likes to see that. He is Big left again from Don. Couple more hooks. Hits him. That should be it. That should be it. Whoo! Right through the car. Wangle, wangle. Oh, God. Oh, he's done. He's way too wobbly. That's it. Don with the knockout. We had to go through some adversity. But we made it work. The step up to goat difficulty. Granted, not outright goat difficulty with the slider set that we're using. But ah, I did kind of like it. We'll stick with it for now. Don starts the night off on a win. VA makes another game, do you think? Uh, oh, as far as a fight night with McGregor be in it? Potentially. 10-9, 10-9, 10-9, and a 10-8 with the knockout. Good stuff. I mean, it would be pretty funny to have uh, to have McGregor in a boxing game. I mean, if VA made it, probably, right? That was a good fight, and Don winning was the cherry on top. Now up to 11 and 1, 6 knockouts, 5 and 0 oh in our last 5 with 4 knockouts. Don is on a run. He is on a tear. The question is, oh, we have a serious injury. Again. We have inter oh, oh, the spleen, man. The fucking spleen. <laughs> It'll never be haired. You'll like it until you get knocked out in the first round. Correct, but that won't happen until the title fight. Uh all right, we'll finally fix this goddamn ruptured spleen. I've been internally bleeding for two and a half years. We should probably we should probably fix it. So, uh, you won't have to take an extended recovery period. All right, cool. So we paid twelve grand. Jesus, who'd have thought that box was primarily communicate via email? And you never know, right? Uh, we could face Maximilian Riley if we want to step up. Let's step up. Apollo Kirkland had to step back. We'll step up. Maximilian Riley. 71 inch reach, a counter puncher. 19 and 10. He's 28th in the rankings. I'll do it. January 3rd of 2014. We'll take that fight. We will take that fight. We only have 11 grand left. So we will be uh Let's head to let's head back to Detroit. I've been internally playing for two and a half years. It's true though, like that's at least the fourth time we've seen something about a freaking internal injury via via the spleen. Did you see my suggestion? Loka, I'm scrolling back up, buddy. 
just for you. I still don't see it. I still don't see it. If I missed anything while I was in the middle of that fight, I'm sorry. So, look, I can't find it. Goddamn. Spleens are optional extras, anyway. Not quite. <laughs> Spleens are pretty goddamn important. Oh, God. Alright, so let's see. We don't have too much training time. It's gonna have to be, uh... It's gonna have to be a full train, a half train, and a rest. Unless we have something else going on. Promo event for Everlast. Sponsoring a car wash. Fuck it. Let's do it. That's fine by me, too. So, we will train, we'll rest, and we'll go to that fucking car wash. It's fine by me. So, let's do the whole heavy bag combo deal. Let's see what we're working with. Jared Spurgeon. Jared Spurgeon's a good one. And that bitch didn't mean a thing to me. That's my favorite one. I need to add more of the clips from Don. I, I have the, uh... The him mispronouncing names bookmarked. I just haven't gotten around to updating it yet. Way too much uh, NHL roster editing and slight MLB roster editing. Because of course that's what I'm doing. Of course that's what I'm doing. Uh, but I wanted... I mentioned it before I get back into... Uh, into playing MLB. I wanted to update the roster. So to whoever pointed out that Melky Cabrera was extremely underrated to me in the show. I hate you because you were the catalyst for me uh, going back in and roster editing. But it's it's not as if I I get enjoyment out of roster editing because I'm a psychopath, so thanks for feeding the addiction. Keep those elbows in. Go down, slip. Weave out of the way. Boop, boop, boop. Boop 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 doop boop doop Don, thank you. Did it did it did it did it did it copyright. See you later, YouTube. Don't fuck it up. Bam. Enjoyed the last FIFA Canon episode today. I had a lot of fun with that. Hey, I got the high score. I did it. Didn't get champion status though. Only prospect, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with that Canada series. A lot of fun with it. A lot of fun with it, indeed. Roster editing isn't a choice, it's a lifestyle. Putting that on a t-shirt. <laughs> One of these, days, um, I gotta... Oh God, there's so much stuff I want to do, but not enough fucking money to, to do it. God. Alright, let's, uh, let's rest up. And use that XP. Do we have a policy on timing people out for stupid questions? <sighs> I mean, if so, I wouldn't have a chat. Whammo! Uh, yeah, it's fine. Alright, box of growth. So I think we're gonna focus... So it upgrades the hooks automatically. Ooh, we can get basically everything except the right uppercut to the body to critical stun. Let's do it. Sounds good to me. So, now on any hook or uppercut, there's a chance it'll critically stun the opponent, leaving them dazed and with little health. That is tremendous. Don and his lethal hooks. I'm not going with the chin yet. We don't need the chin. It'll be okay. I just have to be defensive, and I can do that. I can deal with it. We'll start upgrading the chin soon. We'll do that. We'll do it soon, I promise. But I at least wanted... I mean, I kind of want to get... To flash knockout status. Uh, I'm sticking with it for now. I'm sticking with it for now. We're keeping those changes in. Although, the question is... Uh, do we change up the look a little bit? I don't know if we do. God rest what remains of his brain. Again, I just have to not get hit. I'm pretty good at not getting hit. It's just if I get caught by anything, it's... It's troublesome. Yeah, Don's, Don's still good to go. It's just whether or not I'd want to change up the... He's, he's fine. We'll change up the look soon, but... For now, for now it stays. For now it stays. Let's do it. We got another fight. I, I at least have some sense of confidence now that we've gotten a win. 
Although, Fighter of the Year. Come on. Ah, it's Ira Watts. Fight of the Year. Roy Jones Jr. and Ezekiel Jennings. Round of the Year. Ryan Ryan! Oh, I hope we get to fight Ryan Ryan. Knock out of the Year to Roy Jones. Alex Sturm. Or Strum. We got no awards. Damn shame. But, we did discover the magic that is Ryan Ryan. So at least now we have a new rival. We have a new rival. It's just how far up how far up the rankings is he? That's the question. Oh god. All right. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better. I know I just have to be careful. And about time I uh, face a, a power puncher, I have to be really careful. But good evening everybody. Joe I'm feeling good, especially now that I know the hooks have just a little bit more power behind it. 22-year-old Donald James Cherry. His middle name isn't James, but... It's Stewart. Goddamn Donald Stewart. And before Ryan Ryan retires, that would have been a disaster. That would have been a disaster. Let's do this, Don. Against Riley on somewhat short notice. Just got to be careful of the power. Just got to respect the power. He's a counter puncher, but he's already throwing a lot. So, which is fine by me. If he wants to throw, he can burn himself out. We'll go back to that strategy of just staying back and jabbing for the first two or three rounds. It's a ten-round fight. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Riley's making for a tough target. Man, you're not acting like a counterpuncher, are you? Oh, shit, what? That hurt? That was a nothing strike. Jesus, that really hurt me. It's taken forever to recover. Hold on. How the hell did that hurt me? Nice cam review by default cam. Uh, let's, let's keep going back. Oh! The way Don loaded up. I got caught stepping forward. It looked like a nothing strike. It was absolutely not a nothing strike. I stepped right into a straight. And then he hit me in the body as I was stepping in for a jab and hurt me again. Well, the chin rating's not gonna help for that. As Riley has a lot of power, apparently, and I need to be careful about stepping in. Duly noted. Duly noted. Be careful about stepping in. He just missed that shot up top. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Duly noted. Scores up top with a left. Stepping in a little bit more dangerous than it was on the lower difficulty. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Good job protecting himself. Hook right on the belt line. Final ten seconds of round number one. Whew! Oh, God. Oh, thank God. That's the end of the round. All right. I got a little bit aggressive at the end of the round. That was not very wise. I, uh, I got to respect his power a little bit more. Oh, God. That's, uh, oh, wow. My health bar is already, is already pretty low. I was still recovering from the end of the last round. Keep your head moving. What? Like, I know I reached in for a hook, but still, like, that wasn't that strong of a counterpunch, was it? Come on, Don. Recover, Don. That's a flush shot, banking away those body shots with the left hand. 
We've been able to survive, though. He's hurt us numerous times already. Michael, way to go. What is the one common trait they all have with their approach to training? Well, they might not have it at the beginning, but they develop it as they go on. And it's two things. One is to separate the truths from the lies. To understand what they have control over, which is everything. Sometimes early on, they think their opponent has control over those things. But they always have the choice to make a decision and be able to deal with something or not. And the other thing is to not allow pressure to distort time where they think a moment, a difficult moment, is going to go on forever. It's only a couple seconds. And if they get past those couple seconds, they're going to be okay. Jass missed that uppercut. Missed the target with that hook. How about that left hand? Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Final 10 seconds of round number two. How about that angle by Riley? Damn. Found an app that pays me to play free poker, so I'm pretty happy. How many ads do you have to watch? There's a bug if your uh, rest week falls in the same week as the year awards, you won't get the stamina. I don't think that ha Did that happen? I don't think that happened, but noted. <laughs> Smoot! That's hilarious, by the way. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Look at that! The hook came home with a big body shot! Big old body shot from Donnie! Boy, I know he's not in great shape, but all of a sudden he's doing a very good job. Can't hit him with the killer blow, though. And sometimes that's a good thing. You don't want to get hurt to get there. Couldn't hit him with the finishing blow, but we hurt him. Solid straight right hand. Right to the body. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. Blocks that blow, and then a counter uppercut. Dynamite's combination punching is working well here. Good strong jab by Dynamite. Get off of me, Riley. Don's in this fight. We've taken some damage. But we're in this fight. Okay, I just hit him with three, four hooks. I feel like he should have been hurt. Get off of me. That's a well-scored left hand by Dynamite. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Big body shot from Don. Come on, Don. We got to drop him. Come on, Donnie. Yeah, there we go. We're not out of it. We're not out of it. I've completely missed what the chat is at this point. I don't even think I can... I don't even think I can care. <sighs> Too focused on the task at hand. He's going to get up. But we have secured the first knockdown of the fight. Don is capable of battling back. We go to the fourth. Warrior, what's up, man? Little bit of a little bit of a cut under the right eye of Don. Look at those pixels. He's given up two rounds on All right, apparently, as it stands right now, it's 28-28. Because that was a 10-8 round for us, but he won the first two rounds, which I can't disagree with. With the amount of damage that he did. And I can see it already. It's making him a little bit more tentative, so it's making his job a little easier. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Move away from the rope. And now he scores with that left to the body. Come on, Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Off of me. 
fires that overhand right. Big uppercut from Don. I don't think I'm going to be able to drop him, though. Never mind! Big right hand from Don drops him. Whew. That double right. And a nice little shove down. Donnie's battling back. Who needs a chin when you have the power of Don? He's hurt us quite a few times, but we're up two knockdowns to zero. Not as if that, like... Is an official score, but big left from Don. Big lefts from Don. Big rights from Don. Bus driver uppercut from Don. The big rig. Big left from Don. Don's on fire. Oh God, it's a massacre. Wangle, wangle. He can't be stopped. He almost knocked him through the ropes. Is that gonna do it? He's up at nine. This fight's still going. Don's got him up against the ropes again. Don bleeding out of the bottom of the reserve eye. From that cut. Big uppercut. Come on, Don. Whew. And we go to the end of the fourth. We go to the fifth. Don. Looking good. A little bit concerned about that cut. He's hit some good shots. But we're in this. Feed him the home loaf. We did. Whew. Okay, that cut's a little bit nasty at this point. You gonna do anything about cleaning that up? <sighs> it's a rough cut. Under the right eye of Don. We go to the fifth. Riley's been down numerous times tonight, Teddy. Well, if there was a mercy rule like there is a little... Big left hook from Don! Follow up right and left! Can Don finish it? The big right drops him again! That's it! Oh, for the love of God! Good God! Don's an animal! He's done. Wobbly legs. That's it. Don wins it again. We've been able to survive. Whew. We survived a very, very rough opening two rounds to battle back. Don wins again. We did, in fact, kill Lionel Richie. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, God. A of <laughs> you killed Lionel Richie. Dino. Fuck you, Lando. Get knocked out. It is because he's oh, God. Deej, I mean, you have control over the chat. A rough first two rounds, but pure dominance in three, four, and five. From Don. Four knockdowns to zero. He hurt us on four occasions or so. And we were able to hold on. Don's looking good up to 12 and 1. 5 and 0 in his last five with five knockouts. For the pride of Kingston, Ontario. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. We're up to 27th ranked. We have another injury. This fucking spleen! Fuck's sake! I just had surgery! How many fucking surgeries do I need to replace? Like, to, can you just replace the spleen? Fuck, Flo, what's up, man? Spleen transplant. Transplation of the spleen. It's a thing. Somebody get me a goddamn new spleen. My god, fuck it. 12 grand, sure. I want the extra medical attention. Attention, thanks. Good god. Lucian Hart wants to find out. Sure, let's put that fucker down. Woo! 
Oh shit, this is a step up. This is a big step up. 27 v 17, he's 34, two and one with 20 knockouts. Four knockouts in his last five fights. Are we ready to take on Lucian Hart? Oh God, we're both brawlers. This could end up being ridiculous. Let's do it. Let's do it. We'll take that step up. Check his punch stats. I ain't, I ain't afraid. I ain't afraid. We'll be all right. We're going down to Puerto Rico, and we'll be okay. Oh, God. Screw it. We'll take the massive step up and potentially get absolutely fucking destroyed. But I'm willing to risk it. What's well, his heart and chin rating? Doesn't matter. Nobody can withstand the right hand of Don. Nobody can withstand the right hand of Don. Oh God, I'm afraid though. <laughs> I'm I'm relatively afraid. Again, he's 34, two and one with 20 knockouts. Uh, Trying not to get stabbed in the shower. Fair point. More about no one. You need to watch out for everything. I mean, he's a brawler, so. That right lead hook. I mean, yeah, he's a brawler. We know what to work. You know, we know what to watch out for. The uppercuts, the hooks. Good heart and chin rating compared to us. Obviously, the toughness, the conditioning is way up there. Upgrade the spleen. <laughs> that's that's gonna be the way to do it. New spleen after every fight. I mean, legitimately, that's what it's looking like. Uh, but first, your opponent to miss and landing range punches like jabs and straights. Uh, start this round. Uh, I'm gonna go for the old stay on your feet. I used to be pretty good at that, and to be honest, I just want to do something differently. So, oh god! All right, Don's on his fourth goddamn spleen, and uh, we'll see what we're dealing with. Oh god, this fight. This is going to be the one where Don really proves himself. Alright, just got to make a miss. Just got to make a miss. Oh, that's right, it's, it's blocking. It's not even making a miss. Oh, that's right, if I land punches, I do better. Fuck, I forgot, I, I completely forgot what the rules of this drill were, but that's okay. I'll be able to make up time. Alright, Don, that's not ideal. It's alright, though. We go to the third round. Am I still hurt from before, or am I just hurt now? Okay, yeah, I was still hurt from before. Whoop! He dropped me. Okay, just a, just a straight right. We're not going to be doing very well on points in this one. <laughs> I completely forgot what challenge this one was. I thought it was just the whole... I thought I hit outside specialist for some reason, even though I very clearly didn't. Oh, okay, well... Put your fucking hands down. It's sparring, and I'm dealing with a spleen injury. Also, that punch hit after the whistle. That's bullshit. Some fucking teammate you are. Fuck. Just went for the big shot. I also just realized I don't like how long the session is. And compared to like the heavy bag push or whatever. Just trying to get points, man. Fuck. 
Let Don get points. Thank you. All right. Well. Probably won't do that session again. That was rough. And we shall rest. And then we shall train. Yeah, let's go for the outside specialist one just to do something different. Just to do something different. Alright, yeah, so this is the one I thought it was. Just don't get hit and hit the shit out of them. Gotcha. Gotcha. Alright, Don. Biggest fight of our career on the horizon. Puerto Rico, it's a lovely place. Just don't get stabbed in the shower. God damn the I don't even know how many people don't get. I, I don't even know how many people will understand that reference, but we know what it is, so you know, it's fine. Just with the old bus driver uppercut. He's throwing enough for me to be able to get a high score. Come on, buddy. Throw a little bit more, would you? Not too bad, is it? Jesus, that was horrible. Apparently, you need to get 30,000 points just to hit prospect. There's no way he threw enough. It's probably because of the sliders. He didn't throw enough for me to do any significant... Uh, now, to get any significant progress there, that was pretty bad. All right. Boxer growth. Chin. Chin. Heart. And one more on chin. There you go, Don. There you go. Up that chin rating just a little bit. Should probably up the spleen rating. This is going to suck. Like, I was able to survive against that last opponent, but damn. I don't know if we're going to be able to survive against this dude. This guy hits me with, like, one good shot. This will be the first guy that I'll really be worried about in terms of, uh, you know, in terms of, like, he hits us hard once and I'm screwed. But if we can survive this, we'll be looking good. Lucian Hart and Donald Cherry, two brawlers. 12 and 1 with seven knockouts. A 12 fight winning streak for Don. Good old Don. Watch out for shots to the spleen. It's all about protecting the spleen. Take on Lucian Hart out of Panama. Shitty at Panama. Panama. Jake Dodge in an actual fighting type. Yes. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Big Dodge and the ultimate good, clean fight. franchise fighter. Touch them up. Well, let's do this, Don. Let's see where we stand. He's going to be aggressive as hell as a fellow brawler. I would imagine. Hart's trying to repeat his last outing. Remember that impressive knockout he had, Teddy? 
Yeah, I don't know if he should be members. Maybe he should have a short memory. Oh, that, that hurt. That hurt a lot. He might take away the most important part of his game. The jab, the thing that he set it up. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Teddy, what advice would you give to a power puncher like we have here going up against a fighter who may not be I don't know how I feel about this fight, man. I'm afraid of this guy. <laughs> I'm afraid of the hooks. You're a power puncher, you're going to get right to him, and he's a guy that's not going to be around later on. But like that one right there that hurt. And then he punches through the guard. One. I believe that was an uppercut to the body. It might have been a hook. So many times, it's... Hey, I'm gonna bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum has Stay on the bicycle, Don. And he figures that he's gonna try to move on him, so start doing it early on, and later on, he's gonna have a guy in front. Have the reach advantage, I gotta use it. No, he missed that right. That okay, another power punch that goes right through the guard. For an immediate stunning blow. And an uppercut that goes through. And this guy, unlike the last guy, is able to actually drop us. Not good. Not good. But he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit. But I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. He is killing me with those power body blows already. to go in this round. My only hope is with how much he's throwing, he punches himself out, but that was a bad start. It was a bad start. You can tell they want to repeat performance of that knockdown round they just had. Very accurate. Hey, Don's battling back. The big shot to the body from the Don. To give one, he comes back with a right hand. Dynamite, by an uppercut. And a boy, Don, battle back. Don with the jab, he stunned him. Drops him with the left. Don can't take a punch, but god damn it, he can give one. Whammo! Oh boy, Donnie. Woo! Stay down. Please let that be just like a shock knockout. Ryder, thank you for the ball. Oh, God. Don. Easy, Don. Easy, Don's it. That's right. I said that. Hell of a way to battle back. In this round for Don. Through the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Hart's able to land a nice clean left hand. Dynamite's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Get out Hart's absorbing a hook. Come on, Donnie boy. Dynamite's able to land a good, solid left hand. Left to the body. He returned fire right there. <sighs> Tried to push him away. He hit us with a shot to the body. At this point, it's not about the skills and the abilities. Don's on wobbly legs. Dreams of them, and one of them is being eliminated. Dynamite well off the mark. And the round two. This has been a ridiculous start to this fight. We did well to battle back there after getting crushed in the first. His stamina is already questioned. It's starting to get questionable for an early stage, you know, early stage in the fight. Oh, no! Oh, man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. Unload! Come on, Don. Oh, I really needed that right to hit. Good looking right hand after he got hit. Oh, he's hurt from that uppercut to the body. Right on the mark. Big right. He missed with that 
big shot to the body, Don drops him. Now who has spleen trouble, nerd? Wangle, wangle. Whew. Don drops him again. Stay down. He's, he's looking shaky. He's looking shaky. He's back up at six. Come on, Don, we're in this. We're in this. He punches hard, but so do we. That was scary. Ooh. Big uppercuts from Don! Come on, Donnie boy! That's a smart veteran move. Give yourself a break. Yeah, to be a top fighter, to be a champion someday, you have to sometimes keep your pride over on the side. He's doing that right now. It's not about pride right now. It's about being smart and surviving. Oh, that's a big Couple of big rights. Don's got him on the ropes again. He drops him with the body shots. Who needs spleens anyway? Just kind of punches through the arm. But down he goes. Is that enough? Don has too much power. That is it. Don by knockout again. Don is on a rampage right now. <laughs> Ableist spleen shaming. Amazing. We make the jump up to goat. Say what you want about the sliders, but it's equally affecting me. We've been able to survive those punches and make the most of our own. <laughs> a 10-8 for him in the first, a 10-8 for me in the second, and then we knock him out in the third. What the hell? That is outrageous. Three knockdowns to one in our favor. He has become one of the rare few to actually knock us down. We've been hurt plenty of times. Whew. Smooth, I'll take as many fights against Russians as I can. It's just a matter of time. Up to 13, 1 0 with 8 knockouts now. We accomplished every single one of our challenges for that fight as well. Which is beautiful. Replace an injured fighter. Hey, no spleen injury. Filbert! Oh, wait. Filbert had to pull out of the fight, so we'd be fighting Max Riley. Didn't we just fight Max Riley? Yeah, we just fought that guy, didn't we? I'm not fighting someone else lower on the rankings. Fuck him. Pretty sure I already beat him. Sorry, manager. I want to pick my fight. It's time for me to schedule my next fight. If it was fighting Philbert, I'd take it. Good old Gary Gray. Gary, does it say where you're from? I don't think it does. It doesn't. So we have Gary Gray. I don't want to fight Lucian Hart again. Dominic Parker. We could step back and fight Ulysses Turpin, who would be an interesting one to fight, just because he's an outside fighter with reach, so it would be stepping into the middle and hopefully hitting him with uppercuts. What do you think? Do we fight Gary Gray? Or do we fight Ulysses Turpin? Or we could fight Lorem Ipsum, also known as Lauren Greb. I mean, he's probably German, so maybe he does wear a visor. What do you guys think? Greb, Turpin, or Gray? What do you think? Do we fight for name or do we fight the top rated guy that we could take on next? People are going with Greb thus far. The counter, yeah, okay, Greb wins. Greb wins. He's still higher up than us on the uh, in terms of the pound for pound ranks, so. Despite him being behind us in the current light heavyweight rankings, it's not the end of the world. And again, he actually does have a good uppercut. He's, he's pretty well rounded despite being, well yeah, I mean I guess he is a counter puncher. With the reach. I mean we have him beat in the power department. So, we'll see. It is going to be Lauren Greb. Who stands in our way next. And we're going to Big Bear. Off to Big Bear. How many weeks do we have? 
All right, so one full training session, a half, and then a rest, unless there's an event. Fight challenges, that's fine. Don't pay attention to those. Just do what you gotta do to win, and hopefully you beat one. Peyton Grebs, ha ha ha. Uh, skill training. Let's try to, I'm gonna go for the maze bag. I haven't done that one in a while. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krebs? Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krebs? Big, <laughs> big Bird's better than Big Bear. Yeah, but you know who's better than Big Bird? Big Bear in the Big Blue House. That's who's better than Big Bird. Fuck you, Big Bird. Side to side with this one, kid. I wasn't paying attention. I put okay, okay, nice leans, kid. Eight times. Look at the head movement from Don. He's still so spry. Two times. Okay. Nice work slipping the bag. Eight times. I, nice work slipping the bag. Five times. One punch. Great. No, Don. We were on such a good run. Okay. Okay. That was nice leads, kid. Seven times. Sit in my cap. What? What? I, I punched when you told me to punch? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. That was nice leads, kid. Put the bag three times. Great work leading out of the way, kid. I put, that was a nice two times. One punch. That was nice hustle, kid. Three times. Okay, okay, nice lead, kid. Okay, okay, that was nice. Six Look at the, adil uh, the agility from Don. The 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 the, the agility. Ah, uh, I did not do very well at that either. But you know what? You got to do different challenges from time to time so you don't get bored of shit. Fight the Swedish chef. Fucking bork bork his ass all the way back to Sweden. Let's go for the old toughness training. 10 pound medicine ball. There you go, Don. On the way up, Don. Rest up. We got a big time fight against Lauren Greb. Let's do it. Good old Lauren Greb. Bear in the big blue house is the goat. See? Smoot knows. Smoot knows. Fight the Swedish chef. Fight Ron McLean. Ron McLean's the final boss. Ron McLean is the final boss. But back in New Orleans. Look on 28 year old Lauren Greb. If you're not German, I'm gonna be shocked. You almost have to be. Big Don! Big Don. Who's he going up against? Still only one loss. We've been on a tear. Ukrainian! From Belovskoy, Ukraine. Look at those fucking eyebrows. Alright, Don. Let's keep this run going. I'm ready. Is he? Yeah, AJ again, man. We've been we've been on a tear. Here we go. Let's see what Greb's got for us. We got a fight from the inside. No matter what the sport, Teddy, it's very challenging to string together two absolute masterpiece performances. Dynamite. Big left from Don! He could go down. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Combo, combo. Can we fight through? People would probably figure if we were to make a checklist of the advantages and disadvantages you want in a fighter, superior hand speed would definitely be a big advantage. But you've trained many a guy who's been up against the guy. Don showing off the power early. Big hooks from Don on the inside. He's trying to turtle. Don's bullying him on the ropes. Don is just bullying him on the ropes here. Good head movement from him. And that's exactly what you need when you want to stay on the outside. Something to keep you away from your opponent. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. 
Come on, Don. Whew. Finish with the hook. Well placed left hand there. Dynamite defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Brings the hook that time. Come on, Donnie boy. Swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. You better grapple. Big left from Don. Gets him with the right hand. And now he's targeting. Now sends the first round. We are still using the sliders. Again, so it's on GOAT, but with sliders, I can link them. I don't think anybody really cares to be like, oh, they make it easier for you. They don't. If I get hit once, I get hurt, but that's because of the low chin rating more than anything. Shit, right there. He slipped a hook, hit us with a straight, and we're hurt. As much as we dominated him in that first round, he starts off the second strong. And drops us with a clean right. I disagree with that dropping me. I felt like me ducking out of the way should have put us out of range, but he dropped us. I really feel like I should have been able to sidestep far enough out of the way. Like, he hit us with, like, the back end of the glove at the end of the swing. But he's done well to battle back into this one. After we hurt him early. Hit him with the hook, though. Hit him with the hook, though. Don drops him. Oh, my God. The extra punch is on the way down. Right through the guard. Hits him with a follow-up left and then another right on the way down. Oh. Oh, God. Riddick Bow is proud. He's done. Oh, gets up at six. What a start to the second. Come on, Donnie boy. Back him down. We're not scared. Okay, maybe we should be scared. Big right from Don off the sidestep. Grabs in trouble. Big shot to the body drops him. Don is a wrecking machine. An absolute wrecking machine. And a punch to the back of the head for good measure on the way down. Is that it for Lauren Greb? He's up at nine. Each new spleen gives me that much more power. Big right from Don. Couple more hooks. Greb's trying to hang in there, despite being hurt, and he does it. He gets aggressive while hurt, and it pays off. And Greb will make it out of the second round. That left eye is starting to swell. Whew. Insane round. Insane round. We go to the third. He took the advantage at the start of the second, and then we took over. He just can't deal with the Tyson-esque pace from Don. It's all right. Keep moving. Keep moving. Well, Teddy, you get in a spot like this, and everybody has their eyes on the fighter. Big uppercut to the body from Don. Boss driver uppercut from Don. Oh God! Sent his ass straight to hell. The big uppercut from Don. That should be enough. Oh God! Send him to the hospital. They call that the big rig up in Kingston. He's up at nine again. The heart of Lauren Greb. And if he's gonna stay in this fight, now he's gonna avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. And coming upon gets hit with gets hit with more hooks. Round. 
Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Use the ring. Use the whole ring. Come on, kid. Focus now. I need you to focus for me. Targeting that overhand left. 50 seconds left in round three. And he ties up on the inside. And Don's looking for the finish. Now he's just walking him back a bit there, up against the ropes. Big uppercut again. Keep the distance. Grab starting to work the body. He's getting more, he's a counter puncher, but he's getting more aggressive the more hurt he is. We'll go to the fourth. Jesus, man. He has the spleen advantage. He might. We have another cut under our right eye. We're apparently susceptible to that. We're up 30 to 25 on Teddy's scorecard through three. But I don't know if this one will need the judges. Greb would have to have balls of steel to make it to a decision. And he hits us with a big left, so he might. I don't know what was said to him in the corner, but now he's the busier man. And he needs to be before any more time. Can Don survive this? He can for the moment. Same way the second round started, and then we took over. Looping right hand from Don. Double jab right to the face. Hooks from Da. A sharp jab by Dynamite. Combo, come. I need to see some head movement. Boy, head movement. Woo! Oh, the massive uppercut just missed. He has the advantage in terms of health, though. He's hitting a little bit harder. Despite us having the rating that we do. That comes down to the chin rating, though. Big left hurts us again. Can we survive? We're playing with fire here, though, with how how badly he's hurt us, man. He has a ridiculous chin. We go to the fifth. Oh, God, not glad I don't buy into bullshit YouTuber hype. So, no. <laughs> no, we cannot. Big right. Another big right from Don. Come on, Donny boy. Let's battle back. It's reckless. It's reckless, and in a moment he's gonna pay a price for that recklessness. A flush hook scores well for him. Dynamite hit up top hard. Good power. Big uppercut to the body from Don. Can he break through the guard? Not looking like it. Greb goes down. The left hand puts him into the corner. Is that enough? The left hook right underneath the guard. It shoulders him into the corner. Is that enough, finally, to put down the Ukrainian? It is. Don with another knockout. This unbelievable run. This unbelievable run. Greb did some uh, some pretty, you know, he, he, he did pretty well. He landed some pretty good shots. But Don, just too strong. The heart of a champion. From the mean streets of Kingston, Ontario. What a guy. So he won that fourth round. He battled back. 
the second biggest disaster involving the Ukraine since Chernobyl. It's just in bad taste, dog. On to spleen number five. We'll see. There is a chance. Four knockdowns for us in that fight. Lauren Greb. Put up one hell of a fight. Hit us with quite a few body shots as well, but we survived. Don moves up to 14 and 1. 14 unanswered wins. Ridiculous. An unbelievable run of form. Read me, I have bad news. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Your spleen transplant has been denied. All right, let's get the bad news about our spleen. If you don't start fighting smart, then it won't be long until you get beaten into retirement. I mean... What do you mean I failed my post-fight exam, though? I mean, I took some damage, but it wasn't horrific. I feel like that's a... I, I don't remember if that's a scripted email or not, but... I mean, hey... We're here for uh, we're here for a good time, right? Yeah, fourteen and one. Give us a big time fight next. We're up to twenty third in the rankings, and if we want to move up, it's got to be Gary Gray. It's got to be Gary Gray. Let's do it. We will. Uh, we will spend the money to go back to old Big Bear. What's the bad news? Uh, I got warned about taking too much damage in my fights, but it's not like UFC, where you actually have, like, a career damage meter. <laughs> and if you, uh, you know, if you end up taking too much damage, it will legitimately retire you early. So, we're okay. We'll be alright. Alright, skill training. Uh, let's go back to heavy bag combos. I'll probably end up with the higher ratings out of that or the push So yeah, I'm not sure honestly if it's a If it's a scripted event or not, I can't remember but oh, Alright Johnny boy Envision your opponents. Envision. I the fucking tiger, Don. <laughs> Just start spamming quotes from Goon. Bunch of good old Canadian kids. Gotta channel my inner Gufferson. Channel my inner Ballstead. Excuse me. What the fuck? Why was I... I swear to God, the hit detection on buttons is weird sometimes. I had to tell him to throw that uppercut three times. It also doesn't help his reflexes are really slow, so he doesn't throw combos all that quickly. But... What are you gonna do? On the bright side, it's September in games. You're only a couple months away from stocking up on spleens this Black Friday. Always looking on the bright side. Why is there an American flag? Because we're in fucking Big Bear, dog. It's all about the Big Bear. I mean, you know, it's not as if Don's the, the biggest fan, but when in Rome, or when in California, Call it what you will. Actually, did we have an email there? We didn't. All right, let's uh, let's go for the heavy bag push this time. Let's do it that way. Quick and easy. Quick and easy. It's almost like he's been going since the dawn of time. That's good. A million comedians starving to death, and you're trying to be one. Unbelievable. The disrespect. The disrespect. Ah. Go Donnie, go. Go Donnie, go. He's a killer. He's a wrecking machine. Push that bag, Don. Push it. Push it real good. Hit that bag. 
bag on it. Get it over the line, Don. There you go. Beautiful. That was a beautiful combo. Get it over the line. Don't slow down now. Start spamming uppercuts. Keep moving that bag. Shit. Thought it was going to change again. Let's change it pretty. Pretty frequently before that. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. We'll have a decent amount of XP for this fight. And now we rest. The biggest fight of Don's career. Again. Every fight's the biggest fight of his career. Uh, so I want to get the right uppercut to the body up to critical stun level. And then I think the rest... Again, eventually I, I do want to train up the jabs. Block strength, speed and range. Reduces the duration of stun state. I mean, I can upgrade the chin all the way to that uh, that third star. Braveheart reduces the stun stage from body punches. All right, let's get the chin up there and the body punches up there. Is there anything else I want to start working on? Let's get the block rating up a little bit. And... Uh, Let's upgrade that right hook to the head. And there we go, the chin and the heart. We started working on that a little bit. We're looking a little bit better. As we take on Gary Gray. Counter puncher. Reaches fairly even. He has good hooks and uppercuts though, so there's really not an advantage there. 13 heart. 100 toughness, 99 strength for Don though. Will we have the power to put him down? Let's find out. Pushing it. Real good. Ba ba da ba ba ba. Ba da ba da ba. Let's do this, Don. For all of Kingston. For all of Canada. Way down in Mexico. Gary Gray. Don's 23 at this point, man. It's been a hell of a run. 14 and 1. The pride of Kingston. Look at him. Look at that face. Look at that face. The face of a winner. The face of a winner. That is not the face of a winner. He's from fucking Guantanamo? How the hell am I supposed to be confident going into a fight against someone from goddamn Guantanamo? Jesus. Alright, fellas. Let's have a good fight. Captain Canada against uh, the pride of Guantanamo, Cuba. Here we go. Opening three minutes of this ten-round fight. Teddy, good scouting report that we got earlier this week, and we know it well. The dynamite commitment to throw that hook, especially upstairs. That can be Oof. No, it does. It can and it does. But you know, it's not so good because he throws a good hook and he has some pop in it. But it's the timing behind it. A lot of guys have a good left hook. Oh, big right hand from Gray. I went for the push because he wasn't, uh, he was turtling up. He goes from damaged goods. Don's on the back foot. Yeah, because right now he's fighting on instinct. He's doing things without even thinking. It's just automatic things. Things that he was hey, Don, let's get right back in there. Three years ago. That maybe let's get right back in there. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. He's just naturally surviving. I ain't afraid. Nope. Okay, I'm a little bit afraid. That that left hand of his is pretty strong. Let's talk about strategy for a moment in this matchup. What advice do you give to the high Ooh. stamina fighter in this fight? Well, the one thing that I tell him is make sure that you're controlling things, but not where you had a reckless pace, not where you're going too fast. You know, keep that engine idling about 40 miles an hour. Try not to get up to 70. Here we go, Don. Work the body. Oh, I just walked into a left because of that fucking camera cut. And you see 
what he can do when he's good right from Don good shot to the body from Don a well placed left hand up top one of the fastest punches good hooks from Don remaining in this round I think he ended up uh, I think he ended up winning that round because he hurt me but it wasn't bad we were able to survive it what is Don afraid of visors <laughs> pinko liberals he hates them because he's afraid of them oh boy Don That a boy Don. Committing to the work. Zero domain, Don. Good flush shot upstairs. Well targeted right hand by Dynamite. Oh, ho! Oh, he hits me with the left as I tried to shove him. That's uh, not good. Easy there, Donny boy. We're pretty good at surviving. Famous last words. Hits me with a body shot as I got caught reaching for a jab. He's he's got some power. Get out of there, Donny boy. Now right back on the prowl. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. And all of a Big body shot from Don! He's not blocking up high! Donny boy drops him! Jesus Christ, he did not put his hands up at all when I heard him. Punch right behind the left ear. Say goodbye to your equilibrium. Jesus. Dude, he started throwing more the second I heard him. Fuck's sake. What did they teach you down there in Guantanamo, man? As he gets me with a left hook to the body that hurts me. I don't really think it should have, but the back and forth nature continues. Crab Rangoon, thanks to that nature. Shot to the body from Don. Excellent hook to the body by Gray. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? Get off of me. Good hooks from Doc. We go to the third. Uh, where's Don's suit? I mean, he has the fucking... Uh, he has the very luxurious robe. The very sequin-heavy robe. The trunks are also sequin-heavy. Phil, are we, we're still on an undefeated run, but... We're not undefeated, but... Uh, Undefeated since our first fight. A partially undefeated run. And even that loss was extremely controversial. Connor McDaddy with the 13. I don't know if it was gifted or not. But regardless, thank you. This knockout's for you. For Connor, a good Canadian kid. Do it for all the good Canadian kids. Like Eric Gufferson and Nick Ballstead. And Milan Lusik. Scores big with the hook to the head. And Kevin Bexum. Do it for Ballstead. Who thinks American? Oh! Oh, Don, for all the good Canadian kids! And Wayne Gretzky, too! Don just lights him up. And drawing all the strength from all the good Canadian kids out there. Will the man from Guantanamo get up? He will at six. We move on. Do it for Spurgeon. And Roberto Lolongo. And Jay Bowmister, or however the hell he pronounced Bowmister's name. Oh, he drops him with the body shot. Oh, Donnie boy. Ah, oh, 
Right to the right to the sternum. Right to the sternum. Right to the Jared Spurgeon. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's shaky. He's shaky. Don wins again. Holy shit, Don Cherry is on a tear. You just can't stop this man. It is another stoppage for Donald. I forgot your middle. It's fucking like Sweeney or something. Stewart, that's what it was. God damn it, Don. God damn it. Lost that first round, 10-9, 10-8 in the second round. The finish in the third. Don Cherry, who was the Blues player whose name he screwed up really badly. Ah, uh, fucking God, who was it, man? Don versus Butterbean. I'll have to go up in the division to do that. Who was the Blues player whose name he really fucked up? I mean, it was Lossom Tossum. I'm looking through the list right now. I don't remember. It was Peter Angelo. All the time. Roman Polak, who said he was always saying Polak. Only I'm allowed to stream this game. Not anymore! Not anymore. I don't think he fucked up Sunkvist's name either. Oh, God. Another... Another beautiful victory for Don. Three knockdowns. We go down to Mexico, and we get the job done. Perfect on the fight challenges, too. 15-1-0 with 10 knockouts for Don on an absolute tear. ABS, thank you for the follow, man. Ah, uh, Lusik. Hey, I got a pick for you. You're moving on the... Ah, uh -huh, we're up. We're up on the rankings. Who's the pick? Ronaldo Lewis. Did you sleep with this girl or something? Knowing Don? Probably. I will fight Ronaldo Lewis. 18, 12, and 3. He's 0, 3, and 2 with no knockouts in his last five, because obviously he hasn't won. Yet he's 17th rated? Figure that one out. Outside fighter with reach. We'll just step in the middle, bully him on the ropes, and that's that. I'll take that every day of the week. Ah... Uh... Hmm. What am I looking for here in terms of training? Mexico. That's what I was thinking of. There we go. We'll go to Mexico. We will go to Mexico. I mean, we just won in Mexico. We might as well stay down there. Can we see who's an icon in our division? I will double check the... Uh, the rankings in Uno Momento. Perfect. We got four weeks. Uh, promo event for Reebok. All right. We got a little bit less time now, but we'll do that. Quick and easy. All right. So the rankings at this point, again, we're 21st and 172 on the pound for pound. So weight class. Robert Bortaza. There you go, Blobberface. So, I mean, in terms of... Uh, you know, notable real names, obviously Roy Jones Jr. Uh, Ryan Ryan is fifth ranked. Very excited to hopefully fight him. Bernard Hopkins is there. And aside from that, there's really no other real names. But I mean, we're, we're getting up there. Again, 21st. We're ahead of Leonidas Ruddick. But I mean, a Balthazar Meyer could be on deck. Bonifat Bonifatje. <laughs> How the hell would you even say that first name? Not Emilio Bonifacio. Who's in heavyweight? I think Rocky. <laughs> Let's see. So heavyweight is Tyson, Drago, and Apollo Creed. But for some reason, every picture is glitched so that they all look like Apollo Creed. <laughs> oh, God. Jack Dempsey's there. Tyson Fury. Holyfield. Deontay. So the heavyweight's where it's at. And uh, you bet your sweet ass we want to go up to heavyweight at some point. But yeah, heavyweight's where it's at. Rocky's there, Shannon Briggs, Ken Norton. But they all, they're all they all glitched. Every created fighter has that same face. But yeah, heavyweight's, uh, heavyweight's interesting. Butterbean's up at heavyweight. Andrew Galata, who will punch me in the balls and bite my neck. Klitschko's are up there. So, uh, that, that'll be the plan, is to try and move up to heavyweight. I mean, we just made it to contender status. So, I mean, we still got a little bit of a ways to go. But if we just keep, you know, just running through people like this, we'll be there in no time. 
so. Uh, there we go. I wanted the double end bag. This is probably my my best uh, drill fight Holyfield. Again, that was the plan. You guys said go to light heavyweight to replicate Don's real height and weight, so we did. But uh, we should be able to move up. So, just got to give it time. Kid, let's see your skills All right, here we go, Donnie boy. Be throwing them hooks. Forgot that uppercuts are worth the most. Ah, no, stop throwing. Just keep throwing them uppercuts. Just keep throwing them uppercuts. Punch, punch, Look at Don. Lean, mean, uppercutting machine. He's the Tyson Fury of his time. Tyson Fury's still in this. Donald. Alright, this two times bonus of this challenge is made or broken. No, throw the uppercut! Ah, I just felt, I felt just short. Could have gotten up to contender at least, but that's okay. That's a decent bit of training. Holy Fields, the grudge match. It'll take a while, but we'll see. Run through the event. Won't be able to get another full training session off, but that's okay. We'll go athletic training. And, uh... Toughness is already up there. I'm gonna bump up the reflexes on this one rather than just the outright speed. Angels can never win easy, give me a heart attack in the ninth. You know what's funny is I was, uh, like I said, I'm doing a little bit of editing, MLB wise. And uh, I forget who it was, let me see if I can double check. There were some players on the Angels that I, I bumped up relatively significantly. And it would have certainly changed the way that the, uh, the Angels run that we did went down. Um, but mainly Tommy LaStella, who you guys didn't want me to trade, was the big one, I think. That we made better. Fight challenges again we don't need. Let's do this. Ronaldo Lewis, who is terrible, 18, 12, and 3 with 6 knockouts. He's 0 and 5 in his last 5 fights. But he was still... Filbert! How is Philbert? Is it Was that the same Filbert? The same Filbert! How the hell are you going to give Philbert Fighter of the Year? What? I knocked his ass out. I won the trilogy. I'm undefeated since. Been knocking people out left and right. But you're going to give Philbert Fighter of the Year. He's 30th rated. Fucking Philbert. Are you serious? How the hell did Philbert win Fighter of the Year? That's a disgrace. <sighs> round of the year. Hey, we got round of the year, though. Don Cherry and Lauren Greb. At least for the light heavyweights, we got round of the year. Knockout of the year went to Roy Jones Jr. Upset of the year. Comeback of the year. Defensive fighter of the year. Prospect of the year. Man, I can't get any respect. I get round of the year, but Filbert wins fighter of the year. No! Oh, 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 Butterbean, no! Ah, I wanted to fight him. Finished with 69 knockouts, Thanks. though. Way to go, Butterbean. We'll never get to fight Butterbean, guys. Hate to tell ya. Holy shit! Okay, so half the heavyweight division that we wanted to fight just retired. Bernard Hopkins retired as a light heavyweight. Foreman's done, Butterbean's done, the Klitschko's are done, Holyfield's done. Sorry guys, that dream just ended. And uh, Lennox Lewis just retired too. So we're not going to get to fight any of them, which really sucks. But that's what happens when we uh, you know, decide to go light heavyweight instead of heavyweight. So a lot of, a lot of dream fights just went up in smoke. A lot of dream bouts just went up in smoke. And not to mention somehow fucking Filbert of all people. Just one fighter of the year. Which is a disgrace. 
Deej, that picture you just sent me on Twitter is amazing. We're in London! Home of the Queen! Taking on Ronaldo Lewis. Let's do it for the Queen, Don. Back, bring this back to the good old days. Where Canada had, like, no independence. Hey, old beast, what's up, buddy? Look at that. Look at that, Look at that. Look at that. fucking robe. It's beautiful. Ronaldo Lewis, the Puerto Rican. He is terrible, but somehow rated ahead of us. Let's run through him. Our goal is clear. Win a title before Filbert. Let's have a good, clean fight. Imagine being cock blocked by Filbert. That is exactly what happened. And we're going to take it out on Lewis. I really like his, uh, his trunks. Damn, for a counter puncher, you're aggressive as fuck. Well, I hope so. I mean, they should have done their scouting report. If they're conscious of it, there's a better chance that they don't get caught with the shot. Come on, Lewis. You want to stand and bang? You want to stand and bang? I don't think you do. Three letters. J A B. Yes, sir. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's jabbering in his way, and I don't mean talking. Yeah, I mean. You're an outside fighter. I'm gonna make you wish you stayed on the outside. You see him holding on. Outside of the ring. It's my ring. You don't deserve to be here. An obvious, obvious height discrepancy here. Got a real tall guy against a short guy. Right off the bat, advantage tall guy, but not necessarily, right? Not necessarily. Look, on the outside, if he's able to control those quarters, yeah, he has an advantage. But once the shorter man closes the gap a little bit, Jesus. and he gets in close. Can't believe how effective he's been on the inside, despite being an outside fighter. Well targeted left hand by Dynamite. Lewis is coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. From the inside. Thrash is home with the uppercut. Fuck! Jesus Christ, are you sure you're an outside fighter? Because you're just spamming shots. Fuck! There you go. I thought I'd just be able to bully him up against the ropes, but... He had other ideas, apparently. Seconds to go in this round. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what Fuck. Thought he was going to hit me there. Kest, thank you very much for the follow. Boris, what's going on? That was an outrageous first round. <laughs> Just a ton of shots being thrown, despite him being an outside fighter. And it being, you know, a very close range. Trying to bully him back up against the ropes, but he's not having it. And he hits me with a straight and hurts me. Come on, Don. Yeah, you might want to watch out, pal. That's what happens. That's what happens. Whew. Draw! Oh god, that follow-up left. Oh man. He thought he had us. We respond with a quick counter and drop him. Don't you get too aggressive and overthrow, buddy. We have the power to change the fight like that in an instant. How about that? He lands a big shot there. Set the table. And he went late. Halfway through this round, he is swinging for the fences, trying to get his man after being hurt himself. Dynamite's jab lands well. Lewis. Big left from Don. Some follow-up options. Bus driver uppercut, and they drop him again. He can't handle the power. He can't handle the power. Whew. You like that? You like that? He cannot handle the power. Baseball fan, what's up, buddy? Oh, he's on wobbly legs, man. He's done. He's done. He's up at nine. Bring it on, Lewis. I got, I got cocky. I got cocky. I got cocky. 
Through a haymaker, he made me pay for it. Through a haymaker, he made me pay for it. We're up at two. We're going right back in for him. That was a mistake to throw that haymaker. Jesus Christ! How many punches are you allowed to throw in a row before you get tired? And he puts me down again. Okay. He just started spamming punches with reckless abandon. He's the first guy to ever drop me twice in a fight. Ref, I'm up. I'm up. Thank you. Alright, maybe we gotta show a little bit more respect for him, but he is the first guy, like I said, to drop me twice in a fight, let alone in the same round. Whew. Absolutely insane round. He battles back from the brink of defeat. You say he has to have a short memory. Forget about it. There's another hole coming up. Well, you have to have a short memory right here as a fighter. The only thing is, you better get some advice to go out there because you don't want to hit that fairway the same way. Dynamite trying to steady himself in this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Oh, Teddy, this one. how much can really happen in those 60 seconds? How much of a benefit is it to a damaged fighter? Well, a lot has to happen. First of all, physically, you have to revigorate the guy. You know, maybe massage the legs a little bit, most importantly, get some ice on the back of his neck. You know, get that blood flow going a little bit. Make sure that you... Oh, and Hits me with an over-the-top shot somehow. I didn't think he'd be able to do that from that range. Despite his terrible record, he's giving me some trouble. Despite the fact that we nearly knocked him out in the first round. Point of this third he somehow has the health he does, even though we've heard him a few times. And he also apparently doesn't get tired, and how the fuck did that drop me? Okay, so all he has to do is hit me with a punch. I might not get up from this. I might be done. We're done. That's bullshit. The winning streak comes to an end because all he had to do at the end of that fight was just throw a punch and it automatically rocked me. Alright, well that's complete fucking garbage. That's all he had to do. If he hit me with one punch, he, he hurt me. So, we're within one punch of knocking him out and then all of a sudden all he has to do is just start throwing a punch and he, uh, he hurts me. <sighs> so the winning streak comes to an end. We knocked him down twice. But he gets three knockdowns in a third round knockout. Which I completely disagree with. And thus ends the 14 or 50, yeah, four, no, 15 fight winning streak comes to an end. I don't understand that. I'm within one punch of uh, putting him down. He, uh... He gets up at 9, and then all of a sudden, if he throws a punch, it hurts me. If it lands. I'm sitting there hitting him with hooks still, and uh, it didn't matter. Well, we've already fought Lucian Hart, haven't we? No, we haven't, so fuck it. He'll be next. He will be next. That is an incredibly frustrating loss. And a 15 fight win streak goes up in smoke because all he had to start doing was just throwing punches and he won. He gets up at 9 and goes on to knock me out because all of a sudden all of his punches start doing fucking uh, uh, a rock worthy amount of damage. I was admittedly perhaps being a tad bit too aggressive for my own good, but still. I, I especially don't understand that last punch and how that put me straight down. I guess maybe because I was still recovering, but I really don't feel like that should have... Like, if some of his shots were uh, were rocking me or instantly putting me down, I should have dropped him that extra time and have ended the fight. But ah, we get a nice little setback. A little bit of drama and controversy, I suppose. At least this time, I suppose, it wasn't as controversial as I'm up and the ref counts me as being down. But still, not too happy about that. Genuinely don't feel as though that should have put me down. 
I said to have him at a nine count, and then all of a sudden he lands. If he lands a clean punch, I'm down. Kind of sucks. But we will get our rematch, and who knows? Maybe Filbert, the the Filbert-based mind games had an effect. Could be the case. All I know is that. Uh, come on, I'm fucking throwing the uppercut game. Jesus Christ. Take longer to work our way up now, though. Deej, I uh, I did beat Diddy Kong. You just missed it. I was up until 5:30 streaming, <laughs> playing Diddy Kong, and I beat it. So uh, you missed that. Hate to tell you, but you missed it. The VOD is up though. Feel free to go watch it. The VOD is up. That's what you get for making assumptions. Trust me, that last race sucked too. People say, oh, the second Whiz Pig race on Diddy Kong is easier than the first. It's not. Okay, you know the drill. Combos and weeds. Let's go. It is not. Throw the uppercuts. Come on. Keep it and um, we got to get back to our winning ways. Come on, pick it up. Step to the side, kid. It sucks to have a, a winning streak okay. like that end. Oh, fuck off. I didn't botch that. You botched it. You don't even know, game. You don't even know. I'm wondering, though, if I win this fight, if I can get a rematch with that guy. Seven seconds. Slip. That's it. That's it. <sighs> Watching VODs alone is a bad look for me. <laughs> Another 5.30 stream tonight? No. No, that's just because I was very much determined to beat Diddy Kong on Sunday. That way it wasn't a go back and uh, have to play it for like 30 minutes just to beat it and then switch to something else kind of deal. So, Snipe, take it easy, buddy. I'll catch you later. Damn it, we're getting back in the win column here. Not happy about that last fight and the way that went at all. But we'll see what we can do. Try to get back to our winning ways. Back in Mexico, Don's second home. It's Lucian Hart. 24 and still no world title fight though. Good old Don, let's do this. Big right hand from Don. Don drops him. Let's go. We're getting back into the win column. It's not a rematch, unfortunately. I wish. But trust me, we're looking for it. Dropped him within the first minute of the first round. He's up at five. A couple of big hooks from Don. He's having trouble dealing with it. And he hits me with a body shot. He went underneath. Couple of hooks from Don. More hooks from Don. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Hart's right hand scores well. Look at this, another power punch. Yeah, you better clinch. We both threw a hook, his landed, mine didn't, and he drops me. Fuck. We both threw a hook, his landed first. Hart's 
We both throw, he landed first, and despite the fact that he only punched my gloves there from the looks of it. I guess it did sneak through, alright, he drops me twice. This is uh, backwards compatible on Xbox One. Come on, Don. Alright, so we drop him, and then he drops us twice. If he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Dynamite! Feeling the sting of that big uppercut. I don't understand how I'm hitting him with such heavy shots and my health is just disappearing, but his health is staying up. I'm hitting him with hooks on every single one of these exchanges, but it's not doing anything. But he's he's apparently crushing my health. <sighs> Alright. Another ridiculous round. Maybe I need to start being a little bit more, uh, a little bit more defensive. I have been being a, a tad bit more aggressive, maybe a bit too, maybe a bit too cocky. Hurt him with the body shot. Oh, a big shot, a big shot comes home for him. And he walked right into it. Dynamite's recuperative abilities being tested to the limit here. Just 60 seconds to gather yourself after being knocked down in the last round. Now, we talk about the fighter, but it's important right now for the corner, for the referee. Fuck. I'm supposed to be to the body. ...that he does have those kind of recuperative powers, so they give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe the ref gives him a little more time than he gives somebody else. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Halfway through round number two. Boy, oh boy. Big hook from Don. Another big hook from Don. Come on. Dynamite's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Did you see that? Drops him with a left. Jesus. He goes down for a second time. The big time left. Getting up slow, but he should get back to his feet. Maybe. He's looking rocky. He's done. He's done. Don battles back. Second round knockout. Jesus Christ. Woo. So we drop him. He drops us twice. And then second round we battle back and get the knockout. Good Lord. These goddamn fights, man. Uh, Deej, that's probably it. That's the thing. I was I was looking at switching games. Wow, he got a 10-8 because he dropped us twice. Even though I dropped him in the first round, he gets a 10-8. That doesn't make any sense. How is that not a 10-9? How are you gonna How are you gonna give him a 10-8 when we each dropped each other at least once? He dropped me twice. It doesn't matter. We get the knockout win, which I'll take. But the big question now is whether or not I can get a rematch. I was just totally looking over, you know, looking past him and the lightweight world champion. Up to 16 and 2 now with 11 knockouts. The question is, can we get a rematch? Replace an injured fighter against Renault. Yes! Fucking Filbert. Every wow. So we lose, Filbert takes our spot against Lewis and gets hurt. So now we get our rematch against Lewis. One of you already has a fight scheduled. Yeah, it's not fucking me. Of course one of you already has a fight scheduled. I'm trying to replace an injured fighter. Oh, that's the most EA thing I've ever seen. <sighs> Alright, we might not be able to get our rematch. What the hell, man? I want my rematch against Lewis. I don't want to face any of these guys. That might need to be done. <laughs> If I, if it's not gonna let me fight, if it's not gonna let me fight Lopez like it should, or Lewis, then it's not gonna, fuck it. Filbert, let's go. One more time. We've beaten Filbert two to one. Let's go, motherfucker. I'm knocking you right back down the rankings. Right back down. Right back down. 
We'll face Filbert Wheeler one more time if it's not gonna let me fight Lewis, which I really want that rematch. But we'll see what happens here against goddamn Filbert again. After it screwed me out of a potential rematch with Lewis. I'll take care of the event. I'm gonna knock Filbert right back down the rankings. Right back down. You'll never see Filbert again. Again, Filbert was the guy who handed us our very first loss in our very first fight. We beat him via decision in the rematch. And then we knocked him out in the trilogy fight. But now we're going to fight him again because I have nobody else better to fight in terms of the higher up rankings because this game's kind of broken and won't let me fight uh, the dude. So Filbert was supposed to be hurt. So I was supposed to be able to step in to face Lewis, who I just lost to. Except it won't let me, but it'll let me fight Filbert. So, figure that one out. Figure that one out. Stop throwing, I didn't tell you to throw those. What's our record? I'll let you know in a second. Okay, yes, I don't care. Oh, wow, the lightweight champion in the world lost his first fight. Way to go. <laughs> that didn't work out too well for him. We'll go with the old athletic training. What's up the speed? Good old plyometrics. We'll get a rest week in. And we're gonna knock Filbert the fuck out again. I have all the XP in the world too, so. So, I think I have no choice but to improve the chin. Granite chin. Heart. And it just reduces the duration of being stunned. I think I want to get the block strength up there. It'd be most of the XP. But that's the I think that's the one thing I'm going to do. I'm going to really improve uh, improve the block strength. Also again, let's uh There we go. We're going to go with the uh, upgraded blocking rather than chin and heart. Oh God, so we take on Filbert one more time. Our record is 16 and two with 11 knockouts. Filbert again was our very first loss. We went on a 15 fight winning streak before dropping that fight to Ronaldo Lewis. Warrior, I'm bopping you. And then I'll think about undoing uh, that because I said I would let you know. And then you asked again. Good evening, everybody. Stab it. Chicago. One more fight against Philip Wheeler. I'm here to knock his head off his shoulders. And then we're going after Lewis. Might have two losses on the record now, but... That's alright. Polish Wander Filbert, I'm going to kick your ass. I am going to kick your ass. Let's go, motherfucker. He hurts me with the very first punch he throws. Body shot lands. It was the right. Blocks that belt line well. If the low stamina fighter does not get rid of a high stamina fighter in the early going of a fight, what can he possibly do to try and secure himself a win? Well, one thing he's going to do is... Big left from Don! Come on, Donnie boy! Knock his ass out! Knock his ass out, Don! Let's go! 
stay the fuck down. Just crushing him with the hooks. Give him, oh my god, that extra right hand was disgusting. Stay down. Stay down. Let's go, Filbert, you fuck. Yeah, I think he's okay. He looks clear-headed. His legs are okay. Now it's just a matter of making sure that he understands why he got caught. Nice work. The left hand to the head. Dynamite's defense is paying off now. Halfway through round number one. Now he's putting his punches together. The combination upstairs. Tried the hook, didn't get it. He is Hits me with a hook. Instantly hurts me. Well, that's the classic wet noodle foundation right there. He's on wobbly legs. Yeah, and it's not al dente. It's really, really wet noodles. We're going right back in. Nice job there, hooking to the body. That left hand over the top, he's accurate with it. Up top with the quick hook. To the head he goes with a left hand. Come on, you son of a bitch. Yeah, you better clinch. You better. I hit him with the hook, but he hit me with a straight. He hurts me. Stunned, but all of a sudden now, surviving. And then we hurt him with the left right at the end of the round. Woo! All right. That's a hell of a start. That's one hell of a start. Let's keep it going. Same pace, Filbert. Can you keep up? Can you keep up? Big shot to the body. Don's brutalizing him with the hooks. Drops him with a right. That a boy, Don. We're not here to outpoint, we're here to destroy. Living up to that brawler tactic. We're not here to have any more decisions. Filbert's back up. Known for his iron chin. Yeah, a lot of work because he doesn't have the benefit of his legs. Can't move around there wobbly right now. So what he's got to do is grab on a little bit. Our first or our last fight was six, uh, six rounds. And it took us until the final moment of that round to knock him out. Oh, that is a penetrating shot down low. And sometimes they last with you the rest of the night. <sighs> Wheeler's left now getting into the mix. Fuck. Unable to make an impact there by Wheeler. Fine work with the left hand. He landed well by Don rocks him again. There we go. You're done. You're done. You're done. A clean shot straight to the mouth. You're done. Ryan Minister, what's up, buddy? Stay down, Filbert. If you know what's good for you, stay down. We knock out Filbert again. Whew. That is the cleanest highlight reel knockout we have had yet. He needs help getting back to his feet. Your arms are too short to box with Don. Filbert goes down. Don now three in one lifetime against Filbert. Back to back knockout victories. Never in doubt. What are the chat topics of the night? I don't think you want to know. I keep looking over and apparently people have been weird, but what are you going to do? Surprisingly not Ryan Hartman. Absolute domination. And we get the second round knockout. Three knockdowns. Just ran through him. Give me Ronaldo Lewis. I want to avenge this win. We hit every single one of our goals. We're up to 17 and 2. 12 career knockouts. I want this. Give me that rematch against Lopez. Or Lewis. I always want to say Lopez. I think because of the pitcher. There's a Ronaldo Lopez, isn't there? Is that who I'm thinking of? Ronaldo Lopez. Yeah, it is who I'm thinking of. Fucking White Sox pitcher. Give me Lewis. I need to avenge that loss. 
How far up in the rankings is Lewis? I want to avenge that loss tonight. How far up in the rankings is he? He's 16th, but it won't let me fight him. I guess he already has a fight scheduled. Fuck it. I'll take on Balthazar Meyer. If you're not going to let me fight Lewis. Let's do it. I don't even care what this guy is good at. He's listed as a brawler. Fuck him. We'll put him down. Actually, is there anything for speed? Reflexes, speed, toughness. Alright, it's just it's going to be a toughness training regardless. We are, uh... We're going back to Mexico, baby. Let's do it. So... I'm going to do probably two more fights and then switch to Banjo. I was planning on switching right about now. But I want to avenge that loss. And we'll see if we can uh, get that opportunity if we beat a guy named Balthazar. <laughs> because why not? Is there anybody famous named Balthazar in the world that it was born after 1900? <laughs> That's like the earliest I'll give somebody. Switch now, more time for Banjo. I mean, put it this way, I don't have anything else to record other than a Finland episode and a Mariners episode, so I mean, I have time. I have time. I'll play a decent... I, put it this way, when I play Banjo, I'm playing until I beat Treasure Trove Cove. So, however long that takes, but I will beat that entire level, because obviously I'm playing on the OG N64, and when you collect notes, it doesn't save. It's just, oh, okay, did you get all the notes, essentially? So... Yeah, we'll be handling it that way. There will still be plenty of banjo. Bad. I just champion rating. I'll take it. Alright, we'll take it indeed. Alright, how far out are we? Okay, we got arrest, a train. Actually, what's this email? Fight challenges again. So yeah, arrest, another training session. Arrest. We're gonna run through Balthazar. And then hopefully it'll let me fight Lewis. Actually, shit, there's an extra... Ah, oh, it's right now. I'm fine. Never mind. It's because it shows the same goddamn month. Whew. Let's do this. I want that. I want that revenge. I need to fight Lewis again tonight, damn it. And I need to beat him. I need to beat him. Let's, uh, let's see how you do on the double end bag. And damn it, I will. Pick, pick it up. And a boy Don gun it down. Screwed on the RG with the zones here. Having to travel a lot to hit these spots. Nice work. Keep it up. I want to see more bouncing. Another 53. Not bad. Just under champion, though. That's alright. We did pretty well on those two. We're up to an 84 overall, by the way. I mean, we're absolutely killing it. Let's rush to get back up to full stamina. 
Balthazar Meyer, 25, 7, and 2 with 21 knockouts, is next on the agenda. Let's upgrade the chin and the heart a little bit. And we'll also go... with the right hook. There we go. Actually, let me go back to that. See if we have any other boosts. Do we have any other boosts? We do, we got a reflex boost. Sick. So that's up to a 90. Apply those. So again, anybody that remembers NHL Yes, they do, again, indeed, have those style boost packs in Fight Night. I mean, this did come out in 2011, so think NHL 12. <sighs> Let's do it. We just ran through Filbert one more time. We'll see if we can run through this guy. And hopefully get our rematch against Lewis. Who became just the second man to beat us. Two knockout losses. Back in London, I think this is where we lost to the uh, to Lewis as well. Two brawlers. This one isn't gonna last long. He hits us with two punches and hurts us. Self-fulfilling prophecy, perhaps. Let that health get back up there. Where are we going on the attack? Hits us with an uppercut, hurts us again. He's hit three punches and hurt us. Twice. Landed three punches and has hurt us twice. That's... that's not looking good. Come on, Don. Don with a big left, drops him immediately. Back to back lefts, a clean shot straight to the neck. Puts him down. Whew. This is a fucking slugfest right now, man. All of these fights have been, we're living up to that whole brawler tactic. Screw trying to sit there and outpoint someone, we're just going for it. Not another left from Don. More hooks landing. Can Don put him down again? Yes, he can. Whoo. The right goes through the guard. Balthazar is down again. Is that enough for a first round stoppage? It is. First round knockout for Don. Lewis, where are you? I want my rematch. That is our first first round knockout. We said it would be quick. He hurt me a couple of times, but we put him down twice. A first round stoppage. A first round stoppage. Cal, I'm Rich, I'm Richer than you, and you can speak, right? So don't start telling me how to speak. I can count. Whew. We overcame getting rocked twice within the first three punches. And all it took was landing 12 shots. We threw one jab, the rest were hooks. And we put him down in the first round. Whew. We're up to 18, 2 and 0 with 13 knockouts. Do we get to fight Lewis next? Nike wants to sponsor you. Awesome. What a streak. Schedule fight. That's not Lewis. I want a chance at Lewis. I'll take the Nike sponsorship. That's fine by me. So we need Nike shoes for two fights and we get two grand. So I'll take that. I want to schedule a fight. I want Lewis. I don't want the guy who's a little bit better. I want Lewis. Give me Lewis. 
Lewis is ducking me. My God, is Lewis ducking me right now? Unbelievable. It's not letting me fight him, man. Absolutely ducking me, so we'll take that scheduled fight. It's against sixth rated Dean Chavez. 20 or 32, 6 and 1, 21 knockouts. Ridiculous reach. But it's our first fight on the big stage of the MGM Grand. He's 2 2 and 1 in his last five. We'll take that fight. We will take that fight, but Lewis is the only guy that I want, and he's continuing to duck me. And it's really frustrating, <laughs> because I want to avenge that loss. I mean, we just ran through a guy in one goddamn round. I'm, I'm, I'm fighting this guy, too. I want Lewis. I'm still playing banjo tonight, make no mistake, but I want Lewis. And it's gonna happen. It is going to happen. I am going to rip this next guy to shreds. Yeah, DH, email would apparently be the way to do it, huh? I am going to rip this fucking guy to shreds. I will do whatever I have to do to get to Lewis. Here comes the all-nighter, potentially. It's going to take as long as this game decides it's going to take until it feeds me Lewis. And then he'll knock me out again and I'll cry myself to sleep. But I will get my revenge. Keep moving. It is not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Look at these sweet Nike these sweet Nike shoes from Don. It's a good look. Look at that guy in the back up struggling to do build strips. Looks like me. That second double zone. Ah, just missed 55. Whew. Two get 24 hours again. It'll happen one of these days. One of these days. So let's see. We'll rest here. Although, what's this email? Again, just fight challenges. So we will rest again. Damn. Yearly awards. Light heavyweight of the year. <laughs> Even though we got knocked out, we won light heavyweight of the year. Don Cherry, top dog in the light heavyweight division, despite only being 14th ranked. Fight of the year was Ryan Ryan and Judah Cox. We're on a collision course with Ryan Ryan. They also won round of the year, knockout of the year for Ryan. Upset of the year went to Don Cherry, July 10th. Philbert Wheeler won comeback of the year, and then I knocked him the fuck out. Defensive fighter of the year and prospect of the year, Don Cherry. We finally got to the point where we can be named prospect of the year. And we're just the outright prospect of the year, not just in the light heavyweight division. So the big dogs are finally starting to notice. Hatton, Manny Pacquiao... Shane Mosley, David Hay, Marvin Hagler. Call it careers. He's also dodging the awards. Apparently. Uh, I guess that rest... Oh, it's on pay-per-view, too, at the MGM Grand. Our first real big fight we're taking on the number six contender. It's not who I want, but it's who we'll go after. I'm going to... Uh, Let's do the focus mitts. Get the reflexes up there. Now that's the cherry on top. Now we rest. January of 2016. Don Cherry is finally on pay-per-view. We're going to upgrade the hooks to flash knockout territory. And we'll 
we'll uh, also upgrade the right hook to the, uh, let's upgrade the right uppercut to the body, and left uppercut to the body, there we go. So our hooks are now even more lethal. Watch the ring walks, I, I plan on it. I plan on it, let's do it. Don's first fight, MGM Grand in Vegas, the biggest stage we have had yet. And now it's a question over whether or not we're ready for this challenge. We knock out Filbert in the second round, we knock out Balthazar in the first round, and now we're here. Cherry V. Chavez. There he is. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this to be. We're blowing the budget on this entrance, boys. Dynamite's assured that tonight is his night. Dynamite Don. I'm excited for Fighter Fest, very. Lord knows WWE isn't doing it for me. Don's ready. The minor setback, but we're ready to go now. Another guy from Guantanamo. Oh, it's just a factory down there for fighters. It's a goddamn factory, I tell you. Here we go. Let's do this, Don. The MGM Grand. Fighting the number sixth ranked light heavyweight. He hits us with two good punches early. Again, he has the range on us, so it's going to be a matter of us getting into the middle. Not getting into the middle, getting him up against the ropes. Quick little clinch just to throw him off his game. Big right hand from Cherry! Don's not here for a, a fucking long time. He's here for a good time, and he puts him down in the first. Huge left from Cherry starts it, and he unloads on him. Don is here to make an impact. Will it be back-to-back first-round knockouts for Don, Mike Tyson, Cherry? Big left from Don. Follow-up hooks, his hands are down! His hands are down! Don drops him again! Absolutely devastating hooks from Don. Absolutely devastating. Is that it? He's looking wobbly. He's up at nine. Back him up against the ropes. We still have time. Don unleashes the hooks. Puts him down again. He's got nothing for us. He can't handle the pace. The lethal hooks from Don. Oh, that's back-to-back -back first round knockouts. He's done. He's done. Back-to-back -back first round KOs for Don. We make our debut at the MGM Grand in dominating fashion. Dynamite Don Cherry. Back to back, first round knockouts. We just dominated the number sixth rated light heavyweight. Knocking him out within the first round. Absolute decimation. Just ran him over three knockdowns and a first round KO. Cherry moves to now 19 and 2 with 14 career knockouts. But there is still only one man that we have our eyes set on, and it's getting revenge for our one loss. We're still in contender status. Don't care about the fight challenges. Give me Lewis. Give me Lewis. Three straight knockouts after our first loss, or our, really our first loss since our first fight. Give me Lewis. 
Lewis is still ducking me. Oh my god. Lewis is still ducking me. This is ridiculous. This fucking guy. That guy has a 65 inch reach and that's who we're going to be fighting and uh, fighting next. As much as I'd love to go to the Thomas and Mack Center. Uh, we'll be going back to the MGM Grand to take on Martin Murray. Like, Lewis is just ducking us. Like, actively ducking us. It's not even... It's not even a debate. Did he retire? Did he- did he retire or change weight classes? Oh my god. We knocked Filbert all the way back to 31. Dude, Lewis is gone! Lewis is gone! Did he retire? If he retired without me being able to get my win back, I am gonna be fucking pissed. He gets a win over Don and hightails it. He fought us in January of 2015. I guess it's possible he could have retired. I don't think I'm allowed to... I swear to God, I think he, he beat me and then retired. Unless he moved up or down. Break down your competition's effectiveness to their favorite punch. I don't care for that. Did he retire? I can't double check retirements. Did he move up to heavyweight where Tyson, Creed, and Drago are champions? Again, the pictures are glitched, unfortunately. We're looking for Ronaldo Lewis. I legitimately think he retired. Dilbert Wilder. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be able to, uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to get revenge, man. I think he, I think he retired. I think he ducked. He got the win, and got the fuck out. So we'll never be able... Look at previous fights. Did I not go to the right menu for that? My legacy, my fight history. So again, he got the knockout. Ronaldo Lewis. So it says he's the 15th ranked fighter. But I legitimately think he, he retired. Again, we've we've just gone on a tear. We've knocked out four people in a row and not been you know, not even been to the third round. But I don't see him there. It says he's the 15th ranked, but... Again, Ronaldo Lewis. 15th ranked. He retired. He fucking retired. I'm not gonna be able to get my revenge. <sighs> well, at least we can, uh... At least we can put that... That grudge... I mean, it'll never go away. I'm not too happy about not being able to get a rematch. But... We can, uh, we can move on at least. Retired boxers. Oh shit, I can look. I didn't think I could. Butterbean. Okay, we want to look for Ronaldo Lewis. Okay, it is sort of my last name. Fucking Butterbean, R.I.P. Did Ronaldo Lewis retire? I didn't think I could look. Turns out I can. You motherfucker. You you retired at 28. At 28. That fucker retired. I am so mad. He retired at 28 as a top rated light heavyweight. That son of a bitch. We will never be able to get our revenge on him, man. <sighs> the 
That sucks. That sucks, man. I can't even check to see if he, uh, if he's retired since, you know? Or, like, when he retired. He gets the knockout over me and then leaves. Dude, look at our fight trend since the beginning of our career. How, how quickly we've gone from having long distance fights to just, nope, wrecking people once the overall was higher. And punch is taken, I mean, significantly less. We, we, we're averaging taking 28 punches a fight, which is nothing. Damn. <sighs> yeah, Gray Valley, that must be it. That must be why it wouldn't have let me uh, replace Filbert to fight him. He was retiring. So the game wasn't broken. It just didn't know what to do. But, yeah, that fucking guy just retired. He, he gets a win over me, and then he ducks out. That is unbelievable. Dude, I can nearly get Flash Knockout on the hooks. So let's go for Bell Ringer. I'm going to try to fully upgrade these hooks and just see. I mean, I'm already lighting people up, but dude, I'm having a lot of fun playing this. I'm so glad I decided to go back to this. But our hooks are nearly maxed out. Again, the jab's never going to be a strong punch for us. It takes forever to level up the jab as a brawler. But yeah, if we can finish maxing out these hooks and uppercuts, we're going to be we're going to be dominant. So we will we'll upgrade those. Do I have I have no other boost to use? Oh, sweet. We got the silver speed boost now. So we're up to an 82 speed. That's awesome. We're looking good. So we're showing up as an 84 overall. Which is awesome, man. With a 10th rated light heavyweight, 19 and 2 with 14 knockouts. At 24 years old. Cody, no, dude. Games like this are a blast, man. To the point where I'm having to actively pull myself away because I could play this for another three hours before getting bored. Legitimately, I could play this all night. Like, that's what happens. I don't play for a while, and then I start playing it again, and I just... It's very tough to pull you, you know, to pull yourself away. Very, very tough. But... We will switch. We will switch for now. So, Don, hell of a run. We're not done yet. We're up to contender status. Hopefully. Soon to be champions. We've never lost by decision. Both losses came by knockout. Both slightly controversial, in my opinion. One, The first one more so than the second. But, again, for now. It, oh God, I can't believe Lewis retired. <laughs> that is so frustrating. 